brother. You're so good looking no matter when I look at you. Condescending look she gives me. If I can make it across the minefield. Oh. Oh. General Isaruki, I, Private No Class Pig Maggot, has safely made it back to your feet. Outstanding effort, Pig. Your reward shall be the bottom of my boots on your feet. Oh, oh. oh you beautiful General Arches. Your perverted pollen has found its flower. You like this, don't you, Pig Maggot? You're pathetic. Don't hurt me! Get ready to step on me, Sergeant Major! You pervert! Back off, my boy! You're so creepy! Were you by any chance getting aroused by that scenario? Did crawling around on the ground on your nasty stomach and depositing your worthless carcass at the well pedicured feet inside my combat boots really turn you on that much? <laughs> yes, I stuck a nerve there, didn't I? But I suppose you'd tell me that this nasty perverted bodily fluid of yours came from nowhere, Maggot? Would you really take responsibility for this if I got infected by it? You're taking this entirely too well. You're creepy, even more than you should be. You're so pathetic, I'm speechless. How someone can get so completely disgusting in one lifetime is beyond me. <laughs> Give me 1,000 push-ups for creeping me out! <laughs> and not a thousand regular push-ups either, Private. I've got something custom-made for disgusting little perverts. <laughs> so, you ought to consider yourself lucky that I'm so tiny. It ought to be easy to do all those push-ups with me on your back. What? The, the situation is... I don't care what you say. This is completely insane. I have to do more training in a rundown shanty house? It's the situation, bro maggot. Nurse, get in here! Huh? Yes. What? You know, that outfit. My outfit? The angel of the battlefield is always the nurse. Hey, you don't have to dress up. Uh, That's uncalled for. You're making it sound like we forced her to wear it. Um, I wanted to wear it. <sighs> I've always wanted to wear the nurse's outfit, but I'm not quite as pretty as Mio is. I know it looks kind of weird on me. No, not really. It just surprised me. Really? It's good? Yeah, I like it. Uh, hey, Pig Taro! How do you think I look in my uniform?
It's very nice, Drill Sergeant. Hey, what's with the change of your attitude? Anyway, you know in the nurse outfit is adorable. God, an ungrateful swine like you doesn't deserve to be treated by her. Well then, let's take a look at where the trouble is, okay? Just kidding, of course. Huh? <gasps> you know. Tara. My condition? You got a cold because I didn't take proper care of you. I sincerely apologize. I'm perfectly fine. Really? Huh? But you sent me an email and... Email? My, is she your friend? Uh, Welcome to our home. Uh, what? Big sis! Mom? Crap! If they see you know... Um, hello? Uh, I'm Taro, uh, I mean, I'm Taro Sato's classmate, Yuno Arashiko. It's nice to meet you. It's a pleasure to meet you, too. Huh? I've heard some really wonderful things about you, you know. I'm his mother, Tomoko. Huh? I'm his older sister, Shizuka. Nice to meet you, you know. What? What are you trying to pull? The Thank you for being so gracious to me. Where are your manners, Taro? Huh? Bring Miss Yuno inside. Uh, um, please come in. Uh, okay, thank you. Welcome to the Hell House. I'm uneasy and I don't know why. Excuse me. Huh? Is there anything I can help you with? Don't worry about a thing, you know. You're our guest this time around, okay? Are you sure? Can you pass another one of those plates over here? <laughs> sure, Mom. I need your help over here, too. <sighs> all right, all right. Here you go. I appreciate that, son. Can you carry this for me? Yeah. We can take care of the rest now. You sure? Let me know if you need some help. This is nice. Wow, they look great. Feel free to dig in any time, you know. Thank you, Mrs. Sato. We made plenty, so don't be bashful, okay? Okay. Hey, is it always this extravagant at your house? Well, uh, not exactly. It's working, Shizuka. Let's move to phase two. No, Miss Yuno. Don't hesitate. Eat all you want, okay? Yes, thank you very much. Mm. It tastes so good. <laughs> That's so nice of you to say, dear. I'm really glad you like all the cooking you did, Miss Arashiko. <laughs> I can't cook at all, so I have a lot of respect for people who can. It doesn't take much time to learn how to put on a meal like the one we have here. Something isn't right here. Normally, the two of them would have been all over anybody and their dog for being anywhere near my space right now. How about the three of us get together and make a meal sometime? I'm expecting both of them to drive her off Great idea, Mom. I can't believe this. 
So, what kind of relationship do you have with Taro? Well, let's see. Sato and I are in the same homeroom, and we participate in the same club. We walk home together after school, too. That's a landmine, you know? I see. It sounds like you guys are dating or something. What? I bet the two of you have already decided to start dating, haven't you? What? We really aren't dating. Yeah, but I bet you're waiting for him to get up the nerve and ask you. Uh... What is this? Why are they being so civil? As his mother, I'd be very this comfortable. Dream? No, very nice this could mean... You are, you know. <laughs> have they finally come to their senses? I'm not sad, but tears are coming out of my eyes. <laughs> What's the matter, Taro? <sighs> that was not like role-playing with stuffed animals. Somebody, give me my soul back. Let's get phase three started and finish this. I'm ready to go. <laughs> <sighs> I will never forget this brilliant day for the rest of my life. Thank you, you know. Thank you, everyone! Huh? <laughs> You're funny, Taro. Go ahead and come in. Uh, what the hell is this? I swear I have no idea what's happening here. Please, don't be disgusted with me! All right. Oh. I'm not much of a cook, but I am good at cleaning up. Come on. You know. Ah! What is it? Up there! Huh? Ah! Are you really into guys who look like that, Taro? No way, you know! It, it's okay, I won't judge you, really! I swear I didn't put those there! Ah! Sniffing girls' gym shirts too, Taro? No way! I've never been in a girls' locker room in my life! <sighs> it's getting cold. The tea, I mean. Should I go make a fresh one? No, it's okay. I'm really sorry about everything. It really doesn't bother me. You know, hmm? I bet being alone with a man is tough for you. Huh? I guess I should have figured that out before. Should we go back downstairs? If my mom and sister are around here... No. Huh? I'm fine. Thank you, Taro. I was a little scared at first, but I think I'm okay now. I suppose... I haven't been getting nervous lately. What? I think because of you. It's not all that bad. What's the matter, Taro? I was just thinking... You probably shouldn't say stuff like that when you're alone with a man in this room. Why not, Taro? Uh, well, what do you mean, why? You're getting a little too close to each other. The two of you are practically making out down there. Never come to this. Come in space for mother. Miss you know him? him? We don't want to make a point of bragging on ourselves. But we spent a lot more time with Kara than you have. Uh, those are my photos. <laughs> See, this one was taken right after Kara uh, was born. What do you think? Isn't he adorable or what? He is. He's really cute. He was always clinging to me. Saying, big sister, big sister. <laughs> We're the only people on the planet who know Taro That's as well enough. as Ichigo. He said, I was born just to be in and enhance your life, Tomoko. I love you, Mommy. Hey. He always told me, big sister, let's get married when we grow up. Don't make up stories. Taro loves me more than anyone or anything in the whole wide world. Hey. In case you're forgetting family history, I'm the first uh, woman that my Taro ever touched in an intimate fashion. The only thing that family history is telling me is that you're too damn old for him. <gasps> Exhibit number one, the back rub coupons I got from my Taro on Mother's Day. Exhibit two, the pilot whale necklace that he gave me on my 15th birthday. Exhibit three, comic strips honoring his mother. Exhibit four, his first girly book. She's Honestly, why have you been trying to compete against me? Seriously, you know you're no match for a woman. It's my mind to hell with me. Oh. I'm sorry. Things got really crazy. Yeah, yeah, they did. <laughs> well... <laughs> <laughs>
So you really have seven albums full of pictures? Yeah. I think it was like they were pointing a camera at me every five minutes when I was little. Hmm? As soon as I walked inside of your house, I got the feeling things were warm and cozy, you know? Really? Really. It just felt like everybody... It just felt like you guys were really close. I thought so. It's gotta be nice. You know. Hey, Taro. Huh? Can I tell you something without making you laugh? Sure, I won't. You promise? Sure, I won't laugh. Uh, okay, I kind of have a dream. When I grow up, I'll marry the person I love very much and we'll make a warm and loving family together. <sighs> I guess it sounds weird, right? I'm still afraid of men, and I'm not going to get married until I get past it. It's not that weird to me. Um, it's not. You went the entire afternoon without beating me up. I don't know what to say, Tar. You're the first person I've told that to. Is that right? Yeah. So it's a secret, okay? Our secret. Huh? Well, tell your family I said thank you. You know. See you later. So that's what the two of you were up to. It's not what you think! I knew the two of you were acting strangely, but I had no idea you were taking it this far! <laughs> that was completely unnecessary! Get back here! Miss Michiru! I found these two trying to make a hasty escape from your house, Terosato. Are they in your family? They are, unfortunately. Hmm. They're young and beautiful. I'd love to take pictures of them. Consider yourself blessed. Do whatever you like with them. Can I put her in the school swimsuit and eyeglasses? No way! You damn betcha! How about mom nude in the neighborhood? You know something, Sato? You just took a step closer to awesome. <laughs> <laughs> Good morning. Ah! Why are you dressed like that? I know how much you like your friend, you know, darling. So girl named Mio Isarugi is bothering us too, Taro. Oh, it's not you too. She's a god. So we're going to stage an infiltration at Sakura Mori High School. First things first. We need to collect a good morning kiss. Huh? Absolutely. Come on and kiss me, Taro. Ever get lonely, I'll lie next to you, be naked for you, or be on top of you. <laughs>